What's going on guys? This is Joe. I am here to open the second of two The Gift Boxes from Kaladesh for this season. First, from myself and the entirety of the Geek For All YouTube channel, for those of you that celebrated, we wish you a belated Merry Christmas. Uh, this video is coming out the day after Christmas, so again, Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate. If not, Happy Holidays or Happy New Year. We're, we're getting close to it. So uh, we hope you guys are looking forward to 2017. We definitely are. Um, if you missed the last video, I will link it up here at the top so you guys can go check that out, see what cool stuff we got. And I recommend that you stay till the end of the video because I have a little something special for all of us today. That'll be at the end. We're gonna leave that on the side for now. For now, we're gonna open this gift box. Like I said, you should check out that other video because I did a little bit more of an in-depth review of the gift box itself, talking about what's inside of it. Um, I'll quickly show it to you guys, but I'm not gonna go as in-depth as I did. Um, if you watched the other video, you know that my OCD doesn't like that it's like this, but it's like that for a reason and I'm okay with it because it is a fair trade-off because the box itself has this beautiful piece of cardboard in it. Again, watch the other video, you'll know why I'm so in love with this bland white piece of cardboard. But underneath it is what we're really here for, the contents of the gift box. I mean, obviously the box itself, nice for storing cards. I use it for that purpose, which is why I purchased them. Besides the fact that um, I like uh, looking at all this stuff, I definitely need card space. I do like reviewing it for all of you guys as well. Uh, and please let me know if you like me reviewing it in the comments down below or by hitting the like button. That also always helps. But let's take all this stuff apart. We will move the box itself out of the way. Uh, I'm making a big old mess. Okay. So we have the, let's zoom in so you guys can actually see instead of me trying to hold it up to the camera the whole time. We have the basic land pack. It has basic lands in it. I'm not going to open it because you guys know what basic lands look like. Uh, if you stumbled upon this video and you don't play Magic, then maybe you don't, but you can look it up. Uh, we have the uh, separators. They are beautiful separators. I, again, looked at them in the last video, so I'm not going to take them out of the package, but just the fact that the first one is the Inventor's Fair art should tell you how awesome these are. It looks fantastic. They're amazing. Uh, on these separators, you can put all of these stickers um, don't put all of them on one separator, that kind of defeats the point, but you do you. If you purchase the product, you really can do whatever you want. Um, but it's, it's in an event, uh, it's there to help you um, show what cards are between those separators. And they've got all these different awesome things. This is the blank one, so that you can make up stuff yourself. Um, so I'm gonna leave that on the side. And we have the um, promo, Let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it. Whoops, that's way too much. We have the foil uncommon promo for Chief of the Foundry. Not very easy to see um, the foiling pattern, but I do really like the foiling pattern. Um, if you are interested in all of these things, you guys can go pick up a gift box for yourselves. I am not um, an employee of Wizards. I am not paid to tell you to pick it up. I'm just reviewing it and you can decide to pick it up yourselves. So, I mentioned in the last video that I thought that it might have been luck of the draw or it might have been on purpose that there were five different packs in the last gift box and there were five different pack arts. I don't know if you guys can see, but in this one, we have two of the same with Dovin Bon and Dovin Bon, um, so we don't have the Demon of Dark Schemes pack, but that's okay. It's just for me, I, uh, I have a little bit of a compulsion where I like uh, things to be a pattern like that and, and full. So anyway, I'll stop rambling on. I will get started because again, real excited for the end of this video. Uh, but we are going to open the Sahili Rye Pack first. I'm hoping we get some good stuff. Um, whether it be rares, mythics, inventions, dare I ask for inventions, good foils, any of those things I would be happy with. To make sure you guys can see what we're working with. Okay, so we start with an Ether Trade Winds, Terror of the Fairgrounds, Thriving Ibex, Thriving Turtle, Appetite for the Unnatural, Night Market Lookout, A Propeller Pioneer, Workshop Assistant, 
Salivating Gremlins. What a, a hilarious name for a card. I love it. Sky Skiff, great, great vehicle. Really awesome. Furious Reprisal with a beautiful piece of Chandra art. Shows her off really well. Um, she just looks fantastic. As someone who loves the stories, I love a good art of a Planeswalker. So there you go. That's our first uncommon as well. We have Refurbish as our second uncommon and Experimental Aviator as our third. Our first rare or mythic in this box is the Inventor's Fair. Look at that. Uh, it is the first of all five Story Spotlight cards. I appreciate the Story Spotlight cards. We on this channel appreciate the Story Spotlight cards because we review the stories on this channel. You guys can definitely go check that out. I highly recommend it, of course, um, but you can go check that out. I'll link up here um, and you can check out our most recent review. But here's the Inventor's Fair. I love this piece of art. It's absolutely beautiful. Really shows off Kaladesh in all of its splendor uh, and beauty. And we'll see where they go from here in the Ether Revolt story. Behind the Inventor's Fair, anything else? Not in this pack. We have a forest and a servo token. Uh, I call this the rotary phone servo, my favorite servo art. We'll leave that on the side. We have our first of the two Dovin Bond packs. Dovin Bond, a card that I would not be upset opening because it is a mythic, it is a planeswalker. So why not? Uh, besides, I'm just gonna ask for cool stuff because I want cool stuff. Uh, we have an Inspired Charge. We have an Aether Tradewinds, a Reckless Fire Weaver, a Herald of the Fair, Takedown, Malfist Squad, Narnam Cobra, Propeller Pioneer, Torch Gauntlet, Hunt the Weak, very awesome new Hunt the Weak art, just looks absolutely beautiful. The card obviously is fantastic, but it always has been. Furious Reprisal again, interesting, duplicate uncommons. Speedway Fanatic, and Fairgrounds Trumpeter. Our rare or mythic in this pack is a bliss, Bristling Hydra. I was about to say blistering. Nope, Bristling Hydra. Not a terribly bad card. Uh, it's nothing super valuable, but it's not bad. So I have a Bristling Hydra. Behind that, we have just an island. Beautiful piece of island art though. Most of the basic lands in the set just look fantastic. So there's that and another servo token. Leave those on the side. We move on to, speaking of Chandra from the Furious Reprisals, here's Chandra. Again, also a card I wouldn't mind opening. Planeswalkers are pretty sweet, and this Chandra card is pretty awesome. So, we start with a Fragmentize. Failed Inspection, Demolish, Ninth Bridge Patrol, Live Fast, the Live Fast Die Young combo is beautiful. I love the arts on both. I think I favor Die Young slightly, but Live Fast is pretty awesome. Ornamental Courage, Tezzeret's Ambition, Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot, Pima Outrider, Narnam Cobra. We have a Demolition Stomper as our first uncommon and a sweet vehicle. Consulate Surveillance, and Era of Innovation is our third uncommon. Our next rare or mythic halfway through is a Concealed Courtyard. Uh, dual lands are great. I mean, in terms of value, it's, I think, as far as I know, I haven't memorized the card prices, but as far as I know, the most valuable thing that we've opened so far. Uh, so there's that, we have a Concealed Courtyard. Behind that we have Just a Plains, again, still beautiful art, whoops. Got rid of it. And the third servo token, three different unique servo arts. So that's not bad. We have an angel pack. Uh, I mentioned in the last opening, there is a prize pack video that came out on this channel of me opening five different packs with the angel on it. Was it lucky for us? Was it unlucky for us? Go check out that video and find out for yourselves. I'll, as I did with the others, link that at the top for you. We have an acrobatic maneuver, nimble innovator, Hijack, awesome flavor in this hijack card. Absolutely love it. Sky Swirl Harrier, Ornamental Courage again. Whoops. Live Fast again. Torch Gauntlet, Foundry Screecher, Percata Pillar Bug. We have a Glint Sleeve Artisan, 
Uh, what a cool card. Whirler Virtuoso is our first uncommon, and it's a gold uncommon. Not as good as Cloud Blazer, in my opinion, but I really like this card. Restoration Gearsmith, speaking of gold uncommons. And another Era of Innovation. We're just getting a lot of duplicate uncommons in these five packs today. Our Rare or Mythic in this pack, second to last pack, is... Padim, the Console of Innovation. Pretty good card, not super valuable. I love the art. I love that, you know, Vidal can have six fingers, and you can blatantly see that here on Padim. So that's really cool. Uh, she was a pretty awesome member of the consulate, at least in terms of the description given of her from the first story. So that's amazing. Um, behind Padim, we have just a swamp and a Thopter token. We have one more pack to go before this one. Uh, but we have the second Dovin Bond pack. Let's open it up and let's see what we get. Something good. I mean, I haven't seen any uh, foils yet either. So let's see if we can end this video with a Christmas present for you guys and for us uh, with some good stuff from either here or here or both. We have a Revolutionary Rebuff, a Spire Side Infiltrator, a tasseled dromedary. I love the art on this card, even though I don't necessarily love this card. We have an ether theorist, mind rot. Super sad yet beautiful art on this mind rot. Thriving rhino, what an amazing card. Sky skiff, speaking of amazing cards. Windrake, classic. Uh, we have the dunned operative behind that, a woodweaver's puzzle knot. A Foundry Inspector, I love this card a lot. The art is really cool, um, plus the ability on it is fantastic for this set in general, etc. Uh, it's our first uncommon. Behind that, another Refurbish, and a Girapur Guide. Our last rare or mythic in our regular packs is a Lost Legacy. Not a good card, but a beautiful piece of art. From the story, it is super sad. Um, so there's that. I, I, I love it. I think it's the art itself is absolutely beautiful. The card itself, not so good, uh, but still. Behind Lost Legacy, we have just an island, still no foils, uh, and a construct token. So let's quickly go over what we got here, just keeping you waiting that extra couple of seconds more before I open this bio box standard showdown-ish promo pack. We have that Lost Legacy that you saw. We got Padim, the Consul of Innovation. We got the Concealed Courtyard, Dual Land, the Bristling Hydra, and the Inventor's Fair. <sighs> Let's do it. Let's give ourselves a Christmas present inside this Buy a Box promo pack. There are three cards in this pack. There's a Rare or Mythic on top, a Rare or Mythic on the bottom, and a Foil in the middle. That foil could be a foil common, a foil uncommon, a foil rare, a foil mythic, or it could be a foil expedition or invention. Keep your fingers crossed. I am super excited. Let's see what we get. It's from all standard legal sets from what I understand uh, available or of the cards that we could get out of this pack. On top, as you can see, we have the Heron's Grace Champion from Eldritch Moon. Behind it, I'm going in the back first because the uh, foil is in the middle. In the back, we have a Rattle Chains from Shadows Over Innistrad. And our foil is... Wow. Okay. I mean, hey, you know what? It is a foil. I'm not sure I'm going to get that foiling pattern for you guys. Eh, it's there a little bit. You can kind of see it. It is a foil full art mountain from Battle for Zendikar, which, to be completely honest, out of all of the foils that we could have gotten, this is by far not the worst. So here is a foil full art land for us. That is some kind of value. I'm going to leave you guys looking at that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. As I said, Belated Merry Christmas from myself and the entire Geek For All YouTube channel to all of you. And we hope that you subscribe. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. We hope that you subscribe. You will find out when more of our videos come out. We are looking forward to Ether Revolt. 
Uh, stay tuned for more story reviews, more pack openings, all that good stuff, as we always do for all of you. You can check out the rest of the videos on our channel. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Those links are down in the description box below. I've been Joe, and from the Geek for All YouTube channel, as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, and a Happy New Year, everybody.